Well, Ariel, it doesn't feel great right now. You might be able to hear that rain is falling and it is hitting the ground, that little crackling sound, and it causes the ground to get slick. I like the analogy that Megan Mitchell just used about how it's like a Zamboni at a hockey rink. When the water comes and hits the ice that's already on the ground, it just makes it that much more slick. We're out here in Denton where we've been keeping an eye on this train crossing and the reason why let me show you you see that slope take a look at what happened earlier this car is sideways the reason why is because when the arms came down they hit the brake caused them to spin out and that's how they ended up sideways on the road they had to reposition we were all holding our breath because you're on a slope it's slick and the train is coming fortunately the train has not hit any cars although it there have been some close calls we've also seen one gentleman his name daniel eads he has a green jeep and he has been using it, these people with these all-terrain vehicles. They are lifesavers during storms. He's been helping several people over the past few days, and we talked to him about why he wants to do it. And I'm not the only one. There's a lot of four-wheel drives and Jeeps in general that go out and do this. And I just drive around looking for people that need to help out of a spot, a bad spot. So How many of y'all helped over the last uh, couple days? Well, this morning, I just got through taking a nurse to work. That's what I was my where I went by the first time. That's what I was doing. And then... Um, on this intersection alone, I think it's been five or six people this morning. Yeah, he was strapping other vehicles and helping pull them up that slope. Now, the other thing we watch when the freezing rain and that precipitation comes down, the power lines, we'll keep an eye on those. Lots of trees, lots of power lines that I can see just from where I'm at. Right now, I want to send it over to Tarrant County where Malani Basu is there with the update in Tarrant County. I don't know if it's raining over there as well. Malani, is it? It is. And you know, Chris, I wish I learned how to ice skate when I was a kid because let me tell you, standing here right now, it's a little uncomfortable because it's so slippery. But I just want to show you the roads here itself. Just looking around you, if Josh just show us, it is slippery and it was just raining a couple of minutes ago. But I have to tell you what the hardest part about it here this morning so far, there is nothing open, absolutely nothing. You have this restaurant over here closed and all around the other end, it was closed. Getting coffee this morning, guys, it was not fun. We drove around to multiple locations trying to find people to talk to. That was a challenge. The one place that's open, I'm doing a huge advertisement, advertisement right now for Tom Thumb because they are open. We got our coffee from there. They will continue to stay open. And I spoke to uh, an employee off camera there and I asked her, hey, how are the roads for you this morning? And she said, oh, no, no, I walk to work. So a lot of these employees here that are here at this Tom Thumb, at the Target right down the block, uh, they all walk to work because out here right now, not the best conditions. Um, I will tell you, probably around like 830 this morning, Josh and I over on West Lancaster in Fort Worth, there was a big rig that was stuck for quite some time. And thankfully, someone came to help them out and pull them. But here in Fort Worth, light rain, roads are icy. We will continue to be out here. I'll send it back to you in the studio, Mark.